<clears throat> Hello everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to God of Weapons. I think it's finally time we do the Weapon Master run. Um, this character is obviously broken, like you could just look at him and tell. 25% uh, attack speed for every different weapon in the inventory. Um, you start with minus 50, so like it, it kind of evens out at the beginning. Then items cost 15% more, it doesn't really matter. Can't equip range weapons, which I guess is a thing. Let's turn difficulty up to max, obviously. I think we're going to use the arcane gauntlet. It's a little more interesting. I mean, you know, we can't use range weapons, so you know, no, we'll go tattered banner. And then for a weapon, I'm probably just going to start with a. You know, actually. I think we're going to start with the flail because it's probably better for the first floor. Uh, we are in golden armor, huh? So, yeah, I mean, we have reduced attack speed on the first floor. It's kind of whatever, but um, flails pretty solid. It has a nice cleave to it. I imagine this character should be pretty simple. I think my strategy going into this is we're going to take all the different types of weapons we can and get as much luck as we can. And then we kind of just figure things out from there. Uh, luck, so we find higher tier weapons and then, you know, weapons because, well, that's what this guy does. Now, ideally, we want to have, uh, you know, smaller weapons, not uh, big old funky things. So, I mean, whetstone's decent too, but I don't think we need that. I'm going to go ahead and just start taking these axe. I haven't actually used stuff like this double edged, double edged axe before. So we could just like throw these things in here. Um, I don't think this is getting any better right now. I'm sure we could probably make it work, but it's fine. I'd rather what I would rather do is pick up some dice or. Well, you know, a die or dice or whatever, any type of luck item, honestly. And then there's a dagger. Which again, we will get those in time. Burnt coin is not what we want. We could take Dusk Spinner. I'll take Scroll of Mastery. That's fine. It's not luck, but it is experience. That's close. Um, we're already attacking faster, notably. Well, I mean, to be fair, we started with minus 25% attack speed and now we're at plus 25. So well, that's pretty decent. And then I suspect in the next shop or two, we're just going to want to pick up tiny weapon. Maybe we should have locked those daggers since that's generally what we're going to want. But also. Also, I don't know if it matters, I think. I think this is one of those runs where we can kind of get away with doing whatever we want to and we're going to succeed. Longsword's kind of trash, honestly. Um, Prison Blade doesn't actually do anything here. We will definitely take a Ebony Dagger. Uh, Blessed Mace kind of sucks. Dual sickles, not bad. It's just awkward. I will lock a blue scimitar. I'm not even going to attempt to fit this in here without um, messing everything up. But it is already blue, so let's take it. I should have locked that short sword as well. It's whatever. I'm kind of... Uh, because I'm fragile, frazzled because I had to just deal with the car dealership and it pissed me off. So, you know how that goes. Oh, let's take this dagger. OK, now we're at 79 percent attack speed on floor three. Reasonable. Reasonable things. I guess we're going to want some whetstones. I do think there needs to be. Some more items in general in the game that like affect melee power. Because 
when you think about it, it's really just like whetstone and then slightly higher tier variations of things that try to resemble whetstone. Um, that was, I think that was the wrong way to do that. Hold up, let me, let me cook for a minute. Um, oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Um, not, not quite. Damn. Damn, that was so close. Okay, we've got three spots here. Um, how? How do we? How do we do this? We like this weird section here. Oh, we could just. Oh, it takes two more. So. Scroll of Mastery is the one thing that's kind of like out of place. I mean, I guess we don't have to have the dagger. We could just sell it. It's fine. Oh, that's way better. I'd rather just have the dice, honestly. Oh, and then another dice. A dice set and dice. Yeah, that's pretty great. Scimitar is kind of big, but I also like it. And I like the idea of having one just because of its effect. And, you know, it looks cool. I don't think we made ourselves that much more powerful that way, honestly, but I feel good about it, so that's what matters. Maybe... Okay, well, we're gonna need lifesteal, right? That's kind of obvious. Our attack, we're a high attack speed build, so we want lifesteal. I'm not forcing it like I do every other class. It's kind of meant to be the way, right? Um, Let's go across the bottom here. And we can take a short sword. We have 12 armor. It's pretty decent. Ideally. Oh, I'll grab dice. And I will lock the life steal gloves and we could just go on. Yeah, that's fine. Even just one pair of life steal gloves is going to be pretty massive for us here. I think we do need to pick up a whetstone just so we have some melee damage. Um, I totally forgot, unfortunately, I totally forgot what we were supposed to do for the Weapon Master unlock. I think it involves getting like maxing out two weapon sets. So I'm gonna pretend that's what it is and hope that I'm correct. I would like to buy the lifesteal gloves. I guess we should get more blades so we have more melee power. Crimson Scythe is cute, but it takes up so much space. Uh, that is a blade. Give me that dragon blood elixir right into my veins. Okay. Um, I'm gonna buy this and move this around. Put this here. Where, I mean, it's a blade and sharp. It's it's really dual, dual sword is pretty sick. Um, it's probably just better than this. Now, actually fitting it into the like into the squad here is a little more difficult, but um. Make it work. Should just be like that. Um, can we do this in a better way? Probably, but I'm not going to spend my time on it. I think that's where I'm at. I can put this here. We have spots for another. Can you get another ebony dagger? I don't. 
I mean, what is sharp and swift? Attack speed and crit chance? Okay, sure. Sold me. There's another whetstone. I think we want to keep that. Let's sell this axe for this axe. Short sword is just blade, huh? That's awkward. Roll like one more time. I do want a long sword. Definitely. And cleaver is a mighty blade, but I don't think we're. I don't think we're like messing around too much with that. All right, so we do have dual sword now, so it. If we can do it, we'd rather just stand still. We have to be a little careful because there's an elite. We only have 5% life steal. Our damage hasn't reached the levels where we just, like, delete enemies yet. Well, at least not elites. Don't mind the invulnerability, though. So many mages and mosquitoes. All right. Give me a free level out of one of these crates. No? Okay. Mm. You can always... You can always ask. That was a mistake. Oh, gosh. I... <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Well, look. That being the case. That goes here now. That goes here. Let's pull this down. This is going in and it's going right here. This can go here. This can go here. This can move up, up. That, that. Kind of awkward. Kind of really awkward. We have. We have, okay, no, 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 we got this, we got this, sell that, put this up here. We need one, we need four s slots straight, so what if, like, this, and then this, yes, yes, good. And what are we doing after that? roll a little bit i mean i don't sickle seems just incredible um a night piece is also pretty decent but it's not really what we're about so i'm gonna lock the sickle go to the next floor there's an elite here i don't particularly care just gotta make sure he doesn't jump us when he spawns Right, that was this wave that I that I purchased the Dragon Blood Elixir. Am I am I crazy? Was that last wave? That was last wave. Wow, I am. <laughs> oh, the man, the descent into madness is continuing, for sure. Anyways, I think uh, this is off to a decent start. Two levels. Let's fill this spot in. This goes over here. This um, this can go up here. You like some weird stuff going on here. This is only touching two things right now, which is kind of embarrassing. It's here it's touching three, four. I mean, that's better. And then that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works at all. Do this, this, no. What if we slide this around?
I mean... It's a thing. I guess... I guess we should sell... This ebony dagger for this regular dagger. For the attack speed. We have a bunch of sharp. We have four blades. Okay, well, then there's the dice. Yeah, I guess we're on blades and sharp. Which means we could get rid of this flail at some point, and we probably should. Um, fist and agile. No, don't need to do any agile fisting. Rather be more forceful about it um yeah this is fine i think I, again i think we have to max out two set bonuses at least that's my vague recollection of what the uh relic was so hopefully hopefully that is what well it should be easy to do right just hope that's the actual achievement, because if it's not, I'm going to be, like, kind of at a loss. We're not maximizing our XP very well, either. Okay. Um, I'm just going to keep taking space. That's sharp. I mean, that seems pretty obvious. Okay, well, you're out and you're in. Crushing, enchanted, no. Sharp and agile. Not really. Should we just be doing like short swords and daggers? Is that probably it? Um, I want both of these things. What if I just sold the flail right now? Was that crazy? We don't actually need the assassin's love. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to sell this. Um weirdly, I'm going to pull this down. We're going to get this thing touching as much as we can. Um like this, like that um Pull this here, this is that. So now it's like, it's giving 18 armor. That's kind of crazy. All right, this comes down here. I want the lantern. Some really awkward placement s stuff right now going on. Nope, it it is spin, it's spun the other way. Okay, pull this over. We are, we are making things happen. We are optimizing this mess that we have put ourselves in. Why does sickle not go with that? Why does it not work that way? Okay, that fits nicely. Pull this down. Put this right here. Then we have this, 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 and this. It's still giving 18 armor, except now the whole setup looks a lot better. I'm going to grab that. Rapier is agile and enchanted. I don't particularly care. Scimitar uh, is honestly not very long for this world. I almost forgot our lifesteal gloves. That would have been mildly embarrassing. Um, dice set. I will take a dice set over whetstone right now. I just I don't even care. That's a tier four scimitar. That seems advantageous to take. And a sovereign band. Yep. 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 Yep, don't even need to think about it. The fan. We don't need the fan. 
We unironically don't. I want this dagger, though. I don't want the short sword. I want... I mean, I don't want the long sword. I want a short sword. Yeah, I don't think we want the dagger. I mean, I don't think we want the fan. Kind of weird. Ceremonial daggers, not terrible. Exquisite's kind of nice. Also sharp. Sure. We've got some number of weapons right now. He tried to explode us. Oh, that one too. I just think taking plus enemy amount is just where you want to be. I mean... It's more XP if you can, like, manage to get the kills. Plus, you know, the range. I don't know. More inventory spaces just seems like what we want to be doing with this character. Um, I will just take some space over here. And I guess I'll take a ceremonial dagger for now. I guess we'll take this, too. I mean, why not? Um, That is a short sword. We definitely want the short sword. We're not taking it now. I don't care about the sacred leaf. I don't care about another long sword. I actually don't care about pocket watch. Our potion amulet, maybe? XP gain and resource gain over seven luck. I think we want the XP gain. I don't know. I think the luck's better. I don't know. We'll just, just roll with this. It's floor 10. We still haven't found any more revives, which is, or we found it, haven't found any revives, which is kind of odd. I know last, yesterday's video, we didn't find any revives either, which uh, notably ended horribly because of that. But we actually have armor this time, too, so that's kind of helpful. All right, well, that guy's done. Now that's another reason, nice reason to not have the fan. We don't have to worry about standing still. Like, I can just move around however I feel. All weapons, all the time. We're getting pretty good. Oh, wow. I don't know what just happened there, but we got hit for a bunch. Probably got hit by a bunch of projectiles at the same time. All right, three levels is decent. Let's just take some more space. I like to just take it in a row because I know it's easier to like, combine. We'll take another short sword. I will take the XP gain item. Golden chain seems unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well... Well, there are four, <laughs> four or three legendaries here. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to take crown. I don't know where we're supposed to take it. Um, might be time to get rid of this. Just because it doesn't really fit with the other stuff we're doing. Yeah. I'm confident that crown is good enough that that's worth taking there. And we also have some extra space now. Like so. And then we get dragon blood for attack speed. Obviously didn't need it. Tier three. Tier three sword. It's pretty good. Um, double edged axe. Tier three. 
Pretty decent. Longsword tier four. Man, you have to get a lot of weapons to really get this working, huh? We need more inventory space, so I need like. What should we call it? I need. Uh, the skulls. Um, we have four movement speed. I don't think we need to go storm. I I will just take another dragon blood elixir. I'm fine with that. We could take a fist. I don't know how much agile stuff. We have two agile, seven sharp. I guess we're on sharp blade right now. Which basically would mean I should be taking every short sword I find. As well as every... I don't know, like dagger, I guess. Or maybe more precisely, more every ceremonial dagger. I don't know, is there a sharp blade item? I mean, I I vaguely pay attention to the uh, weapon tags, but normally I don't focus on it too much because I don't normally get that many weapons. Um, one space, sure. Sharp Swift. Sharp Lifesteal. Sharp Exquisite. Sharp Exquisite's not bad. Um, I do think we're supposed to take a red gem. We are 100% going to sell a dice set for a set of cards. We're going to purchase this anvil and we're going to use it on... Um, let's say the ceremonial dagger. Polearm Enchanted. Polearm Enchanted seems kind of crazy here. I don't know what we give up, though, for it. It does fit. Like, if I take this down and put it, it just fits right there very nicely. Just sell a regular short sword. I was just talking about how we want every short sword. Um, We have seven sharp. What is our blade situation? We have four, five, if you count that we could give up a dice set for it that's probably fine that's not how that works because it takes more of the space than that well that's a little less exciting mm hmm oh we give up this dice set as well then this comes over here, this goes here, and then we get the sword here. Okay, um... Sure. Except, hold up. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> hold up. Just a second. We actually could do something just ever so slightly better by having this over here by the dual sword. So if I were to stand still, also by that logic, what is this doing? That should be here. So now for standing still, these guys can go crazy. Uh, this is all whatever. Okay. This is uh, basically going exactly how I expected it to the second we got the, I saw the trident. You know what? Who needs, who needs melee damage or percent damage when you just attack infinitely fast? 
I mean, I guess we have percent damage from our crown, but it's whatever. I would like to get a revive just to feel a little bit safe so I can goop around a bit. I'm having to pay slightly more attention than I would like to to the game. Rather than like commentary and whatnot. All right, three levels. I spy a sovereignty. <laughs> OK, well, this is unique, life stealing, exquisite and crushing. So that's cool. Um. Adjacent lifesteal weapons give two gold every time they lifesteal. Um, unfortunately, that does mean. Is, wait, is this the only lifesteal weapon I have? Look, it's. I don't think this thing's hitting. It is getting any lifesteal action at all. Um, well. The cube. Huh. Drop a die set by a cube. Dragon blood elixir. Nice, nice. More damage is good. Is it a short sword or a long sword? Not a long sword. Oh, finally. I was wondering where the dust was at. I mean, it is fitting that the Weapon Master finds the Sovereignty, I feel like. Another one. Sharp Agile. Okay, well, there's going to be a lot of enemies. We do not have any revives, so I have to be a little bit careful. So you to watch out for where they spawn. I just dove headfirst into one of them by accident. It's okay. We just gotta run away now while we heal. This is why I like to have a revive, just in case you, you know, you know, do something a little clumsy like that. I wanted to go like south of him, but I ended up dashing directly into his face. I'm sure he wasn't expecting it though, so got him by surprise. Floor 13. I do feel like I'm kind of like racing against the clock here on this run to get the achievement, though. When maybe I shouldn't be. We're, we're only on floor 13. And I we have a lot. Um, I don't think we actually take a liar here. We're definitely buying this. That's. That's the easiest choice we've ever done. Sickle is sharp life stealing. I don't really want that. I will take another ebony dagger. So now we have nine sharp. What is our next highest one? We have five blades. We have two life steal. We have four exquisite. We have three agile. We have two swift. No pull harm and enchanted. Sure. Blade. It looks like it's blade. Looks like it's solidly played. I, you know what? I will take a Masterwork Spearhead. That is a, that is a fairly hefty buff. Um, we could take a long, long sword. It's not, certainly not exciting, but it is a sword nonetheless. Prism Blade's a blade, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, I guess this gives us extra money too, which is nice. Plus two research gain for each adjacent lifesteal weapons. Okay. Like, I can't not anymore. Pull this down. Put this over here. Put this here. Um... Do this like this, like, nope, nope, 
wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This, 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 okay. Now at least we're getting some extra resource gain. And maybe if the sickle actually defeats an enemy, we get some life steal. I mean, we get some gold out of it. I, it seems like highly unlikely, but whatever. I mean, we could also just buy all the sickles. But I think just trying to grab short swords at this point is probably the easiest. It's a shame long swords suck. I feel like that would be cool. But we could always just have like broad swords and like bastard swords. There's a lot of a lot of swords that could be added to the game. They could have various effects. Especially when you have things like Scimitar that have the cool, like, air slash attacks. Pretty easily handled wave 14 there. Um, just gonna run up the side. I would like to upgrade something. Sure. This doesn't help us, though, is the problem. Prison Blade is too large. Scimitar is... Fine. But, like, we don't have projectile power. Ellis doing his blade. It is exquisite also, though. We only have four slots, so we'd have to give up something for it. Am I willing to give up something for it? Maybe not. Don't want the... Hmm. Hmm. We could go all in on Exquisite, too. We're in floor 14. It takes... six slots. So, if we were to sell this... We logically have the space to make this work. Um, but it has to be slightly different. Like... Wait, wait, wait. Six slot? Okay, yeah, yeah, because this isn't... This isn't quite it. Hmm... I have a one here. Pull it down. You know what? Fit this thing in, and then we figure out the small spaces. That's easier. Why am I trying to figure out the giant space first? It's not wise. Okay. So now we have five exquisite, seven blade. We still have nine sharp. We also have $2,100. We can trade in a dagger for a ceremonial dagger. I like that. Uh, I wouldn't mind keeping that up. Malevolent Observer is cute, but we're not doing that right now. Oh, hey, there's a revive. That's that's a big deal. Views don't sell. Thank you. Dual sickle. Nope. It's good, but we just don't need it. Um. Ceremonial dagger again. I mean, we are going to lose some attack speed here. I think. Oh, no, we actually already had. All right, so now we have seven exquisite. That is a skull. Big fan of that. 
is there a space for it here? Not really. I think it's time we just go to the next wave and then we'll figure that out then. All right, there should be some number of elites here. We definitely have the means to handle it. I think obviously we could have been a lot stronger if we weren't trying to get like double set bonus right now, but it's totally fine. I mean, we literally have a sovereignty. No divine punisher yet though. That would really, but I mean, divine punisher isn't really that insane when you're not recovery based. It just takes up so much space for what it does. Sovereignty, on the other hand, is like just the most busted thing in the world. It's, it's a decent weapon that gives you like insane resource generation, extra life steal. Like it's, it's everything. It's just everything. I didn't mean it's the King's Scepter, so I guess it should be, but. Still not a lot of uh, XP there. Another ceremonial dagger. Well, yeah. We could drop an ebony dagger. Could drop this short sword. We have eight exquisite now. We need one more exquisite. Exquisite. Um, I will take bloody teeth also. Um, this is kind of funky. This whole situation here. What if this is down here? Why did we sell a short sword when we had like. I don't know. Sometimes I really don't make sense to myself, if I'm being honest. We have a one slot here. This is up here. We have this that we want to buy. And now we want this to stay next to this. This comes here. We move the one slot over here, but then we have this, this absolute disaster. We also have this. Wait, hold up, hold up. No items down here. This comes down. We have three spots. Three. I mean, just, just sell the longsword. And then now we can like. Put some of this stuff up there. The skull. The skull finds its way back. Oh, actually, this probably wants to be over here. Put this here. I mean, it's it's not the best layout, but it exists. Um, Longsword doesn't care. We kind of just want an exquisite weapon. We'd like to upgrade this. Thank you. All right, gloves are great. Whetstone probably would have been good there. Plunder's flag is fine. Again, we are very much just hunting for a very specific thing. At this point, I will take an extra life just in case. Dust. Yeah, it's fine. Another dust. Well, we can do that next time. Dagger. No, let's throw one time, see if we find anything or get some dice. Sure. OK. So we need one more exquisite item. By my calculations to get the two. The two item bonus, I guess you also could have just. Um, gone basically the same weapon, a bunch of them. Like, I mean, that's what we're doing with ceremonial daggers, I guess, but like. But then you don't get the attack speed. I don't know. It's working. We're 
seemingly pretty strong right now. We got Bloody Amulet active, which is kind of nice. It's a little late, though. I feel like that's an item you want, like, before Wave 10. Why did I run into, like, four projectiles just now? Alright. Take these spots. We have $3,000 because, um... Sovereignty is an unfair weapon. I skipped over the shield, the turtle shell when I absolutely should not have. I will purchase this to add more elites to the game. We could, could take, uh, could take a crimson rapier, but like I'm trying to, Trying to fill a goal here first. Game's not making it particularly easy. I do not need more revives. Ceremonial dagger. Yay, we did it. Now we can kind of do whatever we want to. Sweet. Um, let's look at our stats. Melee damage and percent damage is a little bit low. I guess taking weapons that we don't normally have is also a 25% attack speed bonus, so. So, by that logic, Rapier is pretty good, and Mystical Fingers also quite good. Um, sickles, whatever. Give me the cube and give me a deck of cards, and we go to this next floor, and we're just gonna go crazy. That's a lot of tridents. Huh. I was pretty sure the first guy went through me, but I didn't look like we took any damage. The funny thing is we actually want to get hit because of uh, sovereignty. We actually have to lifesteal for it to give us extra gold. So we could just like stand on the spikes for money, which is kind of hilarious, let's be honest. Thirty, thirty-eight hundred, thirty, $3,800, $3,200, okay. Um, well, I don't see needing a lance. We don't have a thunder spear, so that's attack speed. Funny enough. We could take a demon helmet. We don't really have armor, though. It's kind of rolled by everything there. Oh, good. Good. We needed we needed uh, upgraded weapons, definitely. I guess we'll upgrade... I don't know. I feel like Thunder Spear is probably going to pop off. Actually, I think Thunder Spear is going to pop off enough that it should go right here by the Dual Sword, so he gets the... the big bonus. And now we awkwardly move things around to try and maximize our spaces. Which I do poorly here, but whatever. It's fine. We'll see what comes up. Malevolent Observer. I do... I do want it. Um, put that there. Put the cube here. Slide this over. Take this. Put this guy here. And then... Um, oh, hey. Which, which you look at that. Um, I, I mean, let's be real here. I'm going to purchase this. I, we just can't afford it right now. 
So I'm going to roll a couple of times and see if we find a some dust. Or we could find the heart, which is an insane synergy with everything we have going on. Um, we don't really need this scimitar. It actually just takes up a lot of space for no particular reason. Um, that's kind of just better. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, we could dice. We could just like not do anything here. We have Vampire Heart plus the crown going on again, which every run that involves life steal devolves into. But um, yeah. This is also going to make our gold go through the roof. We also have the Malevolent Observer. Plus, now we have uh, Lightning Spear spam. So the enemies are basically going to be stun locked. Yeah, this is broken. <laughs> this is so stupid. Look at look at all those weapons. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We're so strong. We're so strong. We're just gonna we're gonna low angle it now for the rest because it looks pretty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the good stuff. Let me get, let me know in the comments if you're still watching at this point. Do you guys like the low angle or the high angle? I think high angle is just easier for me because I'm so used to it, but low angle does have something about it. Only four spaces, huh? Um, it's like really lame. We already got our achievement, though, so we can drop a couple ceremonial daggers and it's not like the end of the world. Because what if, like, we put this here, right? And. We just get rid of another scimitar because who cares? And then we just throw this right here. Um, so that it's sitting next to the banner, but it's also sitting next to the dual sword. Yeah. After taking damage five times, sword sets enemies on fire, dealing damage based on recovery. Well, our recovery is not great, but it does exist, so. It's not nothing. Great axe. I mean, we got our achievement. It's time to like start getting rid of these daggers. So we can do some stum some things. Ebony dagger, ebony dagger. Yeah, just keep getting rid of the ceremonial daggers. They don't do anything. I would like to fit this great axe into the mix somehow. It takes. All right. All right, hold on. Hold on. Is it not enough space there? So it's one, two, it's one, two, three, and it takes these three squares, which we don't currently have. Currently. <laughs> We're going to get it. All right, dice can go. This comes down. This goes here. This is still kind of not it. Yes. Yes. Our attack speed continues to increase. Honestly, now I kind of want the fan. Um, oh, we have three slots up here. I didn't even notice. Well, whatever. Um, take some armor. You don't really need armor. How do we not need armor? What what the hell is happening with this build? Some melee power. We lose life steal. That's not a good. That's not a good trade. 
Um, five percent damage for a tier four weapon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forty percent damage. You know what? I'm just gonna just see. Our damage is at. It goes down. Okay. Well, now we're solid. That's easy. Easy enough. We could ritual doll. That's a fair bit of stats. We definitely just need like a. Oh, I could. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Well, we're taking that. Do we have any duplicate weapons left? We have two ceremonial daggers. Okay, well, now we have a Vorpal Blade. Oh, dust. Good time. We also have this rapier down here that's very much a tier one item. Could probably be anything else. Um, sure. Mystic Skull, why not? Yep. Yep, everything's going... Everything's going to plan. Somehow, we don't have any money. Whatever, floor 19. We have... Well, thankfully it revives because we're this could be a little risky. We have uh, a lot of elites coming. They should just uh, evaporate. Eh, that seems to be what's happening. Yeah, this guy's weapon master is a special type of degenerate, huh? How does this compare to Inquisitor? We get. Uh, okay, so we can either get 25% attack speed per different weapon, or we get one attack speed per recovery, and we're not allowed to have lifesteal. I don't understand. Slight power imbalance, I guess. We're also maximizing our, our XP, so, like, that's good as well. Yeah, everything's everything about that was just fantastic. I don't know. We could take a spear over the rapier, but like, why? Mystical finger? Sure. Crit chance? Yep. Yep. Um, we don't have a crimson rapier, so that could actually replace this. And then this gets sold, and this goes in, and everything is just crazy. Minus ten movement speed. Um, hourglasses, whatever. Give me another red cube. Fantastic. 420. I didn't realize 420. We could have adjusted our build a little bit more. Whatever. It. I don't think it matters. Oh, I love the way this guy looks when coming in from the low angle. Oh, we just tanked those swords, huh? Uh, whatever. Uh, um. Gross. <laughs> gross. Insanely busted. What is his item that makes him special? I can only imagine adjacent weapons increase their set bonus by one. That's actually absurd. Um, that's really good. All right, cool. Well, um, oh, night's not done. I gotta be, I gotta finish the game with night. How did I manage that one? Right? Cause there's a, I'm just gonna click on full here real quick. There's a thing here for night, I believe. Uh, when run with all. Okay, well, 
Maybe not tomorrow, but in a couple days, we're going to do a night run. It, it might be boring, but whatever. We'll do it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little long, but we had to go crazy on the inventory. Uh, don't forget to do the YouTube stuff like comment, subscribe, share. All that jazz really helps me out. I appreciate everyone so much who's been watching and commenting. Love all the feedback and the positive uh, vibes. And I will see you tomorrow. Everyone have a great day. Jeff out. Bye.